Good morning. <clears throat> Guten Morgen. Maginda Numaga. Bonjour. <laughs> I really don't know where to begin on this one. Um, it seems like a lot of my videos I talk about witchcraft, um, sorcery, um, uh, which, I mean, it goes hand in hand. His word is interconnected. It's woven. So uh, his scriptures, they're, they're, they, they're overlaying one another. And when you have eyes to see and he, he gives you his Holy Spirit, you understand it on a spiritual level. You have, you don't have a carnal mind anymore. Um, you have a spiritual sense of perspective. And I imagine to someone who's still living in their flesh and who is still carnal, um, I seem like a nutter. <laughs> you know, I imagined, um, you know, because I'm like, the other day I said voting is witchcraft. It's participating in witchcraft, which is the truth. But to someone who, who doesn't know the Lord Jesus Christ, to someone who hasn't taken one step, with him to someone who is in the world still and still under a strong delusion um, that I must seem like I'm not sure if you've ever watched Edward Scissorhands um, it's a Tim Burton film where they had the crazy Christian lady peering through the window playing her organ you know, she's a homely looking woman who, um, who, you know, was casting judgment on the whole neighborhood, you know, basically saying that they were all evil. And um, there's a lot of movies that portray Christians as the crazy judgmental shouting in the streets. And that's why it's, it's so important that what you say and what you do and how you're representing Jesus, you know, um, because look at the stereotype of what you're up against. I don't label myself a Christian, by the way, you know, because most Christians are a bad representation um, because they're unloving. They're not very understanding they're quick to to make a conclusion about a situation which is very foolish um and i'm speaking in general by the way i'm not casting judgment i'm saying from what i've personally witnessed you know i don't call myself a christian i'm a follower of the lord jesus christ totally different two totally different things okay um, so yes, when I said that, you know, you don't participate in casting a vote because it's witchcraft, you know, I don't, I don't overly explain things. Um, I'm not a speaker and I'm not a dictator or a preacher or trying to talk at people. You know, I don't make it my business to make other people's business my business. So, um, I understand that most people are under strong delusion. Okay? I understand that they're still blind. I understand that it's as if I'm speaking in tongues. That's what the real tongues is you are speaking truth. You are speaking about something that's against the grain, that's not part of the program, that's not part of Satan's system, that you're speaking words of truth that's not part of their software. They're, they're, they're not updated in their software. 
I, I used that as a an example that just pretend that you know we're all software programs and that when you become born again in the spirit and the Lord Jesus Christ gives you his Holy Spirit you get an upgrade in your software where you understand um, and have more knowledge and wisdom spiritually but because others have carnal software they can't possibly comprehend and understand um, uh, the same because um, they choose to hold on to their indoctrination they choose to hold on to to you know the identity that they've built because a lot of people identify themselves with the knowledge that they know or they think they know and it's hard for them to let that go that's why when the Lord Jesus Christ that's why a lot of people say you need to decrease yourself so the Lord can increase in you um, you need to empty out the old wine from the wineskins the lies the indoctrination the programming the pride everything you've built up the treasures that you've built up in this world you need to ditch it's not just physical material carnal treasures it's what you've treasured in your heart and in your mind you need to let go again you can't look at it in a carnal sense that you know when you're walking with the Lord Jesus Christ Jesus is not carnal Jesus is not of this world so it's like it's a different mindset it's a different your heart is with him which is not in this world okay so when I say voting is witchcraft to get a little more to articulate myself a little more is when you come into the truth John 16 13 when his Holy Spirit leads you into all truth and you understand that government in Latin means mind control gubernare that the dualistic they're into duality okay that's why they transgender themselves as well because you know making a balance of male and female alchemy um, when you understand that the whole world is a theatrical stage and you understand that they're actors you understand this is a spiritual warfare Ephesians 6 12 they are being spiritually led to put on their ceremonies basically they're being spiritually led everything they say everything they do they're being spiritually led just like everything you say and everything you do is being spiritually manipulated one way or the other you either give yourself over to the Lord Jesus Christ or Satan can come inside in and out of your vessel and pull your strings it's it, it really is it's it's really that black and white you either have his Holy Spirit and understand all truth and have eyes to see and you see things for what they truly are or you're still programmed you're still under hypnosis you're still blind and you're still following the things in this world that when you know that all the senators all the people in power they're all being manipulated by the antichrist spirit they're idolaters they're all idolaters fornicators of the world fornicating and adultery is not just you know having sex and lusting after people okay you can fornicate with the world meaning that participating in their idolatry in um, 
in in the witchcraft in the lies you're fornicating with the antichrist spirit you're committing spiritual adultery by participating in things that are not of christ that are antichrist okay um let me read to you it's all scriptural by the way i'm not just speaking on my own account um, i'm not a teacher i'm just sharing my testimony and what the lord has helped me to understand so first corinthians chapter 5 verses 9 through a, maybe 9 through 11. I wrote unto you in an epistle not to company with fornicators, yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world or with the covetous extortioners or the idolaters, for then must ye needs go out of the world. But now I have written unto you not to keep company if any man that is called a brother, be a fornicator, a, co a covetous, or an idolater, or a railer, a drunkard, extortioner, with such, and one know not to eat. So this doesn't mean something carnal. It doesn't mean don't, it doesn't mean sitting at a physical table, having dinner with them. <laughs> okay. And when you understand with this Holy Spirit in a spiritual sense, it means that because I know that the government is a fake, false, fictional establishment, it's meant to deceive the whole world. It's meant to get people who are still carnally in the world to think that they have choices here that you know that if they choose a man to lead them essentially to follow man who who are they following they're following the antichrist spirit okay so um hosea 4 6 my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge and his scriptures, it's Isaiah chapter 2, verse 22. Listen to no man, for what is he worth but the breath in his nostrils that the Lord Jesus Christ gave him? So it's like man is being deceived. There's like scripture upon scripture upon scripture that I could just, I could quote so many of them to come away from the world that here's another one in revelation 22 chapter 11 it says he that is unjust let him be unjust still and he which is filthy let him be filthy still and he that is righteous let him be righteous still and he that is holy, let him be holy still. So again, it is black and white. You're either coming away from the world, letting go of the indoctrination, letting go of the lies, seeing the world for what it truly is. It's just one big snare, Satan's snare, Satan's system, to get you caught up in worldly things because if your heart is in the world your heart is not with the father okay if you have a love for the world you do not have a love for the father you cannot serve two masters so it, it something as voting you know again i'll repeat that satan you know as i did in my other video satan wants you to believe that it's no big deal to participate in these things to be proud to hang up your your banners in your yard and put your bumper stickers and wear your t-shirts that you're for man which they're not even really men 
if you have eyes to see, okay, there are a bunch of FTM idolaters who worship the Antichrist that if you're for someone who is clearly serving Satan, then what does that say? That says that you're delusional. It says that, you know, I mean, you're, you're under their spell, their hypnosis. It's witchcraft. It is witchcraft. I'm not a crazy Christian like the one in Edward Scissorhands trying to like saying that everything's witchcraft. They're all evil. No, it's a spiritual warfare. There is evil in this world, but I'm not judging people okay i'm not um i have lot like i don't need to know someone to love them i don't like what many people do but not too long ago less than two years ago i was the worst of the worst Okay, I had to come into truth about myself that, you know, I wasn't as good, whatever that means, as I thought I was. You know, the Lord showed me that any good deed that I ever did, it was influenced by Him. So how in the world could I take credit for something that if I was doing a good deed and being thoughtful and caring and reaching out to someone and being selfless and acknowledging that this is a spiritual warfare who's influencing me when I'm doing that who who deserves credit for that well the Lord Jesus Christ because there's only good in the Father that's what Jesus was saying in Scripture that you're either being influenced by the Lord or you're being manipulated by Satan, the Antichrist spirit, because it's a spiritual warfare. So the, the thoughts that pop into your head, the things that are in your heart, again, it's a spiritual warfare and you have to acknowledge who is this coming from? Again, scriptural, test all spirits. Who is this coming from? Is this coming from the Lord? Me being, you know, um, judgmental and awful to someone else and, you know, thinking I'm correcting them. It's like, who are you to correct anyone? You can't because it's like you're not walking perfectly. When Jesus said, you know, that when they wanted to stone the adulterous woman, he said, those of you that are without sin cast the first stone and no one cast a stone because they knew in their heart every single one of them was not walking right. Okay, and, you know, I know some people use, well, there's scripture that says that we're to correct people. If that person is so of the world, if that person has a religious spirit, if that person is delusional, what is correcting them doing? You know, if somebody keeps correcting someone over and over and over again and they're not hearing it or seeing it, is that called foolishness that you keep doing the same things over and over again and you're not getting different results? This is called a walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're allowing someone else to be your stumbling block and you are obsessed over someone that you have to know in the spiritual warfare Satan placed that person 
in your path to be your stumbling block for you to chase after your flesh. And if you can't see that, then guess what? You're really not walking with the Lord Jesus Christ. And I've had somebody, you know, people throw legalism or lordship salvation my way. And I'm not saying that there are not people who have religious spirits who are want to point out every mistake that someone's doing in their walk um, about following the laws, okay? There are people like that out there. But if someone comes along and speaks truth, just truth, planting seeds of truth, sharing their testimony, their walk with the Lord Jesus Christ, um, you cannot throw legalism and lordship just because I choose to put the Lord first. Yes, he is Lord in my life. But you're making it sound like that's a horrible thing. Either I choose to make the Lord, Jesus Christ, Lord in my life, or the choice is being made for me. You either make Jesus Christ Lord. If you don't, who is going to make himself Lord in your life? Why the Antichrist will sit in your temple, in the throne, and marveling at your foolishness and your ignorance and your lack of knowledge and understanding. That you're holding on to your pride. Satan loves it. You're worshiping the Antichrist spirit. That's the truth. This is how easy it is to fall away from the Lord Jesus Christ. This is how easy it is to be deceived. This is how easy it is to be misled. And many people are completely deceived because they don't want to accept truth. You know, if you say transgender, you know, oh, they can't all, like, I don't see that. Well, if you don't see it because you don't want to see it. Because you're comforted with the lies. See, again, Satan's very clever. He wants you comforted a false comfort in your lies because it's just too hard to accept that you've been fooled. It's too hard to accept that this place is, you know, full of transgender people and, you know, we never went to space, we never went past the firmament. Everything you learned in your indoctrination Institute was a lie and everything's a lie and you know your family members aren't pro they're probably not who you think they are and you're in a world that is evil and you don't want to believe it you're like it can't be as as bad as they say it is but the truth is a is 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 not an easy path because if it was then there would be then they'd say wide is the path to the Lord Jesus Christ but his word is very clear that narrow is the gate because very few can break the chains because every lie that you believe is a chain that's attached to you in a spiritual way that Satan has a hold of you that you can't break that chain and allow the Lord Jesus Christ to truly set you free to truly be set free is you have to accept all truth and find a way 
to, to let go of your pride, your ego, of, of your treasures, of what you built here. Again, it's not a material thing. Your treasures is your heart, your mind. Your treasures is knowledge, understanding. It's like if you have nothing but worldly knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, worldly, it's all lies that are weighing you down. It's like all those, all that money that you spent going to college, you know, it's like you have to admit, wow, that was really foolish of me to do. Okay, the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the Lord. And it's really hard for most people to humble themselves and say, I was wrong about everything. Everything. I was even wrong that I thought I was a good person because I wasn't acknowledging the Lord in everything. That when I was thoughtful and loving, that came from the Lord. It wasn't you. I hope I planted a good seed. I'm not the crazy Christian peering out my window, casting judgment on others. I was under the spell. I was programmed. I was indoctrinated. I was a sinner. I was duped. I, you know, was living under a rock. I was you. And the Lord set me free. Okay, I am you. So why would I judge anyone if I see them as myself? That was me. Okay? I hope everyone's having a really great weekend. And God bless.